Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos. Welcome back to Until Dawn. So, last time we met the stranger and then the stranger died. Uh, I don't know if there was anything we could have done to save him. Um, yeah, it seemed pretty scripted, didn't it? So, as of right now, everyone's still alive of the main cast, as far as I can tell. We've still not seen anything from Matt for ages, and obviously not seen Jess for a long, long time. But I think they're both still alive. Um, I, I imagine you're going to really see why I don't do horror in any form, <laughs> because this is really, really going to be tense. I'm quite anxious, um, because there's a whole twitchy element in this now with the Wendigos, with the don't move and the, the, I mean, those, I don't think I quite realized in the heat of the moment, but when Chris was having to shoot to water to keep the Wendigo at bay, the timers on those ret uh, reticles were so fast. If I, if I stopped to think for a second, I, I would, I would have missed them. And like I may, maybe even shot the wrong thing. I perhaps should have shot the fire. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm really nervous about. Is just because I don't do good with twitchy stuff like this, especially when I'm going to be scared the whole time. Um, the one thing I noticed while I was editing that I didn't notice in the last episode. I, 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 you know, when we when Ashley was reading the book about the about the details on the Wendigos, um, and the bit on the bite, and I was like, oh, okay, if you get bitten, you don't turn. But one thing, is it in here at the minute? Um, where is it? It said about eyes going cloudy and the stranger's eyes, it, it, the one eye was, was cloudy. I know he might have been scratched and he might have been blind, but maybe he was slowly turning into a Wendigo. It wasn't like a quick turn like the people who who turn because of cannibalism. Maybe there's another way to turn. And it's a lot slower and more drawn out. So maybe Emily is doomed. Um, and I remember looking at, when I was looking at the butterfly effects, the gun. Look at this. Emily had no defense against this attack and was bitten. The, the totems told us to give the flare gun to Matt. Like in the guidance totems. Look, guidance. Give the flare gun to Ma. Like, am I supposed to be guessing which way these go? Because if she would have had that to defend herself, she wouldn't have got bitten. And if she's got bitten now, that might be her dead or, or transformed. So, yeah, a bit weird. You know, I'm. Uh, you know, the last episode is up as I'm recording this, but I haven't really. Uh, you know, I haven't got anyone to sort of tell me about the how trusting. I don't know what. They, with the fortune totems what i should necessarily be doing but basically I, I want i think we should be avoiding killing any wendigo and we need to steer clear of explosive explosives so this one that's mike's death we've got matt's death okay we've got two deaths for matt I mean, that's a Wendigo hitting him with a rock. Um, so we've got lots of relevant totems here. So we've got Mike dying with an explosion. So avoid all explosions because we have, I mean, uh, Emily throwing the, the flare onto that oil barrel. We've already got, they've, they're already thinking that's a good way to keep them at bay. We've had that one. We've had that one. We've yet to have this one. So there's obviously a Wendigo locked behind those doors. We're yet to have this one, Jess waking up. Um, yeah, this one with Mike. I'm just trying to see where is he? Is he just in the mines perhaps? Or is he back at the sanatorium? I think he's in the mines. We've got the danger one. So, the thing in the danger totem is what you want to stop happening.
So why would we want to stop that happening? He dodges it. Uh, they're a bit weird, the totems. They're very inconsistent, aren't they? And again, another one where we want to maybe avoid an explosion. So we need to be very careful with the use of fire. Um, yeah, uh, you can tell by... I, I'm just... I'm very nervous. Sorry I'm taking ages to get going, guys. I'm very nervous. I've got my cushion ready so I can do it, so I can like plant the controller on it for those don't move sections because there will definitely be more of them. Right, I've, I'm just has I'm just stalling now because I don't want to carry on because I'm scared. Right, let's carry on. Oh my God, guys! Thank God. What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Uh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Yeah, look uh, at his yeah, eye. Yeah. Wait, don't move. Holy shit! What the fuck? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. Ah! And what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Despair, really? Is this optional? So I think I just want to have one look at these butterfly effects. Chris didn't shoot Ashley. Ashley was concerned about Chris as he left. Ashley opened the door, saving Chris's life. Oh! So if they wouldn't have fallen in love, Chris was dead. Right. Emily was bitten. Mike spared Emily. Ashley was faced with a dilemma and told the truth. I don't think it was that much of a dilemma. You have to re I suppose you really have to hate Emily to conceal that. Just got to say right now, Sam's yoga pants are beyond distracting. <laughs> I'm just saying it now. <laughs> oh. And... And they had no defense. Mike faced a dilemma. Yeah, I just I don't understand why they've left the lodge. They had they were in like a little cage there, weren't they? If that was if it was me, like, and they think so, they're they're think sorry, and they're thinking Matt's dead, and they're thinking Jess is dead, right? And Josh is probably dead as well. Then why wouldn't you just lock the doors on that cage and wait the two hours until dawn, and then you then you scoff, then you're out of there. And even if then you want to search for them, you can search them then because the the Wendigos don't hunt. So this looks like that section where the the the, the Wendigo sticks its hand out. Mike left his gun behind like a moron. And conveniently, we haven't been here before because they fast-tracked him through here. Oh, I'm so on edge, man. Oh, no, we did come through here. We just, just from a different camera angle. Those windows are broken and open, so the Wendigo could easily be in here. Let's hope and pray the doggos are going to come to our aid here. 
Right, hang on, sorry. This is, this is I keep I always say this, it's the whole important the point of the game looking at these totems. So that's a relevant one as well, but There's a like a, a railing behind him. It could be that gate in the mines or this could be in the sanatorium. I just can't tell where it is. Please, please don't tell me the wolves are dead. There was a totem here, but there might be new stuff. Is that the same one? Yeah, that's the same one. No change there. We're still missing a fair few totems, aren't we? Well, enough with this facing camera stuff. Which way should we be going? I'm completely blanking. Oh, that's blocked. Uh, one relevant point here is, is it is becoming clear that it was a huge, huge mistake setting off that trap with the hand in it, because that was uh, that was a real hand, and we know that that any type of flesh attracts the Wendigos. So that could be uh, just my dumb curiosity. And I said it was a trap. And now this might end up costing Mike his life. Maybe we can reset it. Holy shit. Has it been ransacked? Huh. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. We need a gun, man. Two doors. Stop that. That's the same as before. Nothing new? I don't know which way is forward to. Where's the doggos? Nothing? Really? Okay. So I'm going to have a look in here. I just heard one. Oh, someone save me. Did you guys hear that as well? Red. Oh, 
only danger though. That one's got clothes on. That one's got clothes on. There's like a cage there. So maybe that's where the stranger was keeping them. That one looks different, doesn't it? That one looks different. Maybe that one's that maybe that's Hannah. I can hear the wolves. Do I go upstairs or do I go outside? It's here. That's this is where the cages are. This feels like a trap and a half, man. If I go to that uh, cross, I think we're going to get attacked. Yeah, I'm not going out. I'm not going out. No chance. Going upstairs. Is this one? Yes. Nearly missed that. There's guns in there, man. That's weird. So we're going to need some sort of key, aren't we? Otherwise we're going to have no way of keeping them at bay if we get found. I'm going to just apologise now for constantly jumping into the menu, because... Can't even attempt to open the door, but you know, this is such high stakes now with the Wendigos just full on at loose. We don't know how many there are. I mean, that Wendigo there looked a lot different to the one that attacked Chris and the stranger. I thought that was a cutscene then. This isn't the danger one. Oh, this is how we get into that room. This feels important just because <coughs> maybe the Wendigo is going to come in the room now and we're locked in here. Got a torch and a sawn off shotgun and a. Whoa! Look at all those sh shells, man. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Wait, what? Am I about to kill Mike? No, it doesn't feel like the same thing. So we've got some fire and we have got an 
absolute ton of shells. Uh, Check that uh -huh. it's loaded, buddy. Dude, just find a way of making a backpack to take all that ammo with you. Where am I supposed to go now? Like, genuinely, where are we supposed to go now? Is now when I go outside? Or can I blow this off? Yeah. Talk about drawing attention. Don't like this camera angle. Hey, friend. Hey, big guy. Have you seen me again, huh? Hey, I was hoping I'd run into you again. All right, good boy. All right, pal. Come with me. Yes. All right, here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. Sorry, I just looked at myself then and I was like, my shoulders, it's just like, ah, help somebody. <laughs> hey, hang on, mate. Oh. The dog's gonna die, isn't it? Don't do this to me. Okay, maybe this was the section where we get pinned. Check a move like you, Wolfie. Stuck on this side. We're just gonna have to use all our ammo. We're just opening a way out for them, man. Oh, this is such a terrible idea, Mike. Alright. There goes nothing. Oh, sweet Moses. See that? I do got moves. Don't I, My days. Left or right. My God. The report by Dr. Bowen notes several serious irregularities in the, some recent patients. It appears that the patients were undergoing some sort of physical change. Reporting physician, Dr. W.B. Cathcart, initial report. The patients were first admitted to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago. During this time, we've run a number of tests, both physiological and psychological. The results have been extraordinary. In contraven contravention of common medical expectations, symptoms observed, pallor, skin dispigmentation, 
severe vitamin D deficiency, social dysfunction, longer than average readaptation period, post-traumatic event, in interpersonal behavior, erratic, violence towards orderlies, three attempted assaults, one attempted scratching, symptoms expected but not observed, malnutrition slash scurvy, average quetla intake, Quetzalcoatl index was only within minus three percent. Was only within three percent of normal expected values. They should be dead. Frostbite. Patient's stimulus response within acceptable bounds. One thirty, hundred thirty to four hundred ten milliseconds on reverse. Frailty, weakness, distension of tibia, fibia, and humerus. Average, plus one inch. Observed unusual growth in strength. One patient lifted 725 pound weights. Suggested action. Place under strict observation. Restraint strongly recommended. Change from one orderly to three orderlies. 24 hour a day observation. So if my math is right, let's... Um, where is the uh, clock in, in and out times? So the photograph only showed 12 survivors and there were 30 clocking in cards. Does that mean that there were 18 Wendigos? So there were, there were 18 Wendigos and the stranger, is it James? I can't remember. He's killed six, and Hannah might be another one. So does that mean there's 13 of these things on the loose? I mean, maybe not. No, I mean, yeah, it could be, man. Is that the other wolf? Oh, you evil creatures. Oh, son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. What the fuck have I got myself into? Not inmates, dude, they're Wendigos. What went on here? Oh, it's not a clue. Does not. Let us out, we are starving, freezing. I will make you pay. Stop testing us now. You all saw that, right? That is one on the loose, Mike. Nothing. I think we're getting close to that danger totem. Wolfie, mate, where'd you go? Sorry again, I'm checking the danger totem. Not that one.
So there's something on the ceiling. So there's obviously one in a cage. Maybe it's still trapped. But there's a hole in the ceiling if you look there. Interesting. I don't know whether we should even explore at all. This is going to make so much noise, mate. No sound. He's just ripping the shackles off. He's climbing the wall. Restrained patient seems to turn into some sort of creature and becomes violent. It attacks the people making the film. That was that was pretty well done, man, I have to say. This is the doctor's office. That, uh, oh, I thought that was like a knife on the floor. Blackwood Pines, Blackwood Sanatorium, medical examination, patient number nine, progression of skeletal hyperostosis I don't know how to say that day 4 epidermal dispigmentation expected after time underground severe curvature of th thorac thorax thoracic region post traumatic kyph kyphosis corneal dyst dystrophy and clouding acuity 20 out of 160. Day 9. Chronic kyphosis. Scarring alopecia. Extreme nasal septum. Perforation. Ectodermal dysplasia. Pointing of teeth. Jesus. Hot sauce. Christmas cake. This is fucking unbelievable. Day 12. So it takes a long time to transform. Intelligent. Fluvium, not alopecia. Maxitrally canine, length one inch, consistent with corneal oedema, but acuity now 20 out of 22. Epidermal toughening, stratum corneum. Gotta keep an eye out for Emily then. Is this a good idea? What about the other direction? What's going on with the shadow? Oh god, did you see that? I was like... <laughs> panicking like crazy then. I don't know if this is the way forward or the other way is. Hopefully we can come back through. Oh my god, there's someone in there, dude. Is 
Should I really be wasting ammo? Reload. 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 Who is this guy? Oh, he locked himself in. Sorry, Alter. To whom it may concern, what are you doing? Yeah, he locked himself in. A suicide note signed by Jefferson Bragg. He locked himself in his safe room and took poison. He seems to be describing some sort of massacre outside. The dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This hell is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death awaits me now. Jefferson Bragg. Okay, so several of them got out. A series of photos of a miner called Billy Bates. They show transformation over several days. By the end, the miner has clearly become a Wendigo. Dude, can you please reload the shotgun? I hope exploring doesn't have any consequences. Like the death of the wolf. Dude, please reload the shotgun. You've used two shots. Here we go. This looks like the danger section. So done. <laughs> Me and you, Wolfie. Me and you. Mike is a lot more likable on his own for some reason. When he's with others, he seems like a bit of a douche. You know it's here, Wolfie. Into the breach, dear friends. There's no way we don't have to deal with one. Huh. Why would I shoot that? What's going on? Oh, how am I supposed to make this choice, man? Where's, um... I think it's this one that we're fighting. Left or straight, man? Straight ahead, Mike. Straight ahead. Keep going. The game is glitching out here. Where's the wolf? Consequences. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why is the game glitching oh, out, man? Fucking way this is happening. 
Where's the wolf? What? What are you doing? Why is my game glitched like this, man? Come on. Why is he trying to go back out? then. I should have gone left. God damn it. I've wasted a lot of ammo. Get your head away from there. I nearly missed that. I really nearly missed that. Oh, look at this glitching, man. Boys, it's enough for me for all ya. Oh, no. Shut the cage door, man. This is kind of wasting oh, ammo, yeah. isn't it? Oh, shit.
Oh no! Have I just made a huge mistake? But that wasn't like the one in the totem, obviously, because he didn't die, but now he's been possessed by the spirit, right? That's what just came at him. I feel like that was the right thing to do in this in the situation. I really do. Because it's not like the fire kills them outright, is it? It just damages their flesh. So I don't see why the spirit would have possessed him. Oh, can we not have the option to run, please? I'm, I'm, I'm running away from Wendigos in a rainbow. Oh my god, can you believe this? I can't see anything, dude. What is it with me and glitches, man? I bet I've missed a totem because of this stupid rainbow glitch. I don't know where it's going to reload me if I quit out. That's my, that's my issue here. Otherwise I'd just quit out. Just waiting for us to just, just like. Ugh. Oh, God, escape, escape. Come on, please. Come on down. It's all right. What the fuck? That's my fault. Mike's dead, man. I know we didn't see it, so I shouldn't make any presumptions, but... Got the wolf killed. I just felt like the barricade wasn't going to make a difference. We shot the handle off the door that they're, like, in, in ridiculously strong. I should have blown it up, shouldn't I? But all those barrels there, it just seemed... Let me just see what the butterfly effect says. Oh no! I failed to protect him. Oh, that's just ruined that for me. Sorry, mate. Alright guys, I'm going to have to leave that there. We'll, we'll finally catch up with Jess in the next one. 
We've navigated our way through the sanatorium. I'm not really sure how good of a job I did there. Uh, you know, Wolfie's dead. And we could have saved him from the sounds of that if we would have barricaded the door. And Mike has been possessed by the spirit of the Wendigo, it seems. So, yeah. Um, we'll see how this progresses next time, guys. Just remember, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you then.